So I've got a 16 foot triple axle PJ trailer that I pull behind this thing. Anyways, the trailer alone, empty, weighs about 7,000 pounds. The truck, I think with all the toolbox and everything in it, we're somewhere around 8,000 pounds. Maybe a little more on the trailer, give or take. So anyways, big trailer, even empty. So I pulled over, put the truck in four wheel drive and I had my Nitto Ridge Grappler 35 by 12 and a half on there. And I had a difficult time getting going back in four wheel drive. I mean, there wasn't inches of snow on the road. There's probably, you know, maybe half an inch to an inch on the road. It was slushy, slick, um, but I had trouble getting going on this little incline on a main road. So I said, you know, I've got to get good tires for my truck. As much driving as I do, I, you know, it's worth the safety, especially only $1,100 for four tires. You know, after you get them studded and mounted and balanced, we're probably like 1400 bucks into the whole deal uh maybe 1500 dollars. but like i said i just wanted to let you guys know these tires are absolutely great i made up this access road it's probably a half mile long a couple different inclines and gullies in here uh, i made it up here in two-wheel drive which before i would never be able to do with my nitto ridge grapplers so i'm just overly overly pleased with these right now i'm running about 70 pounds of air all the way around I may lower that down, but I'm going to see how it goes for now. I like to have higher air pressure max on these load range E or 80 PSI. Um, I do a lot of towing, so I try to keep it pretty high for my towing, but we'll see how it goes so far. Super pleased with them. Um, you, you know, there, there's a little bit of a hum going down the road compared to my Nitto Ridge Grapplers, but I, I don't even care. These are all around a much better tire as far as you're, if you're looking for a snow rated all terrain tire. These are, if I can find it here, right here. So they're three peak snowflake rated. There's, you know, that means they, they pass a certain standard to be considered snow rated tires. Um, but no, I'm, I'm really, really happy with them so far. Like I said, this is my first experience just going up this little access road here, but I made it up in two wheel drive, which I would never have been able to do with, you know, even four inches of three or four inches of snow with my Nitto Ridge Grapplers. So, just wanted to put this out there. These Kanadi Trailhog AT4s are awesome tires. I probably, depending on how much I really like these, once my nit Nittos run out next summer, I'll probably run a, an, uns an unstudded pair for my next summer season. But we'll see. Because I, you know, I really wasn't even impressed with the Ridge Grapplers in a little bit of mud. They just cake up. They don't, they don't throw it out like I say, I'm not mud bogging, but getting through a job site, you know, I don't want to be stuck on a job site. I build a lot of pole barns in large structures. So, you know, I can't get stuck when I'm pulling a trailer. You know, it just wastes time. Time is money. And uh, I'm probably going to run a pair of these for next summer. I don't know. We'll see how the wear goes on these. Like I, I've got them studded, so I can only run them here uh, in the winter. Between November 1st and April 1st in New York State, we can run studded tires. Um, some people talk against studded tires. I have never, I, I mean, I've got good family friends who've ran them all of his life and, uh, I have no complaints so far. I don't know. I don't notice any less traction with these studded tires. And that's mainly because these studs are just along the outside. The main wear, you know, main contact patch is in the middle of the tire. So these will help on ice, especially if you're turning or whatever. Um, but these all terrain tires don't have, they're not, they're not the same as a studless ice tire. A studless ice tire has a lot of silica in it, which acts like a grip tape on ice. And as those stu studless uh, ice tires, so it's just rubber, it looks like a snow tire, um, but you don't put studs in them. As that tire wears down, the silica becomes a higher percentage and it, it grips more. So, but these all terrains don't have, they're not, they're not the same rubber compound. I mean, these are a little, I, I feel like they're a little soft. You know, they, they are snow rated, so they are softer than the than the Ridge Grapplers a little bit. But, you know, someone told me don't stud these. And I, I went ahead and I studded them. That's what I wanted to do. And I'll tell you, I don't think the studs have affected anything here with this just coming up here, but I'll tell you, the tires alone are just way better as a light all-terrain tire, or, or as like, a, like, I would say more of an aggressive all-terrain tire than the Ridge Grapplers. I, I just think they're all, I mean, they have got so much more siping. The gaps are bigger. I just, 
I really, I really can't get over how much, how impressed I am by them making up this little access road. Like I said, it's pretty flat here, but there's some dips and gullies. And when you first come in, there's a pretty steep incline at probably 25, 30% grade. You know, it's, it's pretty steep, um, but I made it up there in two wheel drive. So I, I'm very, very stoked. I had a hard time a few weeks ago with like, we've got four inches on the ground. Now, a few weeks ago, we had six inches on the ground. And it was a little heavier, like wet packy snow. And I couldn't get up here four wheel drive with my Ridge Grappler. So I'm very impressed with these tires. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you're looking for a more of an aggressive all-terrain tire, I would absolutely suggest these Kanadi Trailhog AT4s. They're, they're, they're magnificent tires, I'll tell you. You know, I'm very excited to see how they do on wet, slick roads with a bunch of slush. So, all right. Keep that in mind, guys. Take it easy.